Hi and welcome back to another lesson. This is the second part of my Jazz Piano uh, Harmony and Soloing series. You can find the link to the full playlist in the video description. Uh, and in this series, what I try to do is systematically cover the ideas and concepts of harmony uh, and, the, and theory that have to do with jazz and you know, general music in a way that is systematic and organized so you can really follow along from the very beginning to the very end. In the previous lesson we spoke about functional harmony. We started with a major scale. We usually I'll use the C major scale and we've built chords on the different degrees. And we've remarked that some of the degrees have functions. We focused on the first, fourth, and fifth degrees, which we named the tonic, subdominant, and dominant, and we said that, for example, the dominant tends to resolve very strongly to the tonic, while the subdominant tends to resolve, although not as strongly, to the dominant, which then resolves to the tonic. Now we focused on major, tri major and minor triads, and what I'd like to do today is introduce the concept of tension. <clears throat> so tension basically refers to using higher degrees of the chords, using major seventh or minor seventh or major ninth and, and so forth. And we're gonna do this in parts, not everything is gonna be covered in, in this single lesson. Uh, let me start by explaining how we, or what's the sort of natural way to introduce these higher degree chords into your playing. And we're going to focus on seventh chords just in this lesson. Now, just as we've constructed triads, we can go ahead and construct seventh chords on the major scale. So I'm going to play it first, and then we're going to stop and look at each of these chords. So these seventh chords are basically the chords, the, the uh, possible seventh chords for each degree that fit into the C major scale. So the first chord is a C major seventh chord. Then we have a D minor seven. So it's a two minor seven. Then we have a three minor seven. So it's an E minor seven in the case of C of a C major scale. Then we have a 4 major 7. Now here we have a 5 dominant 7th chord. A 6 minor 7. Uh, this is a half diminished chord. And we're back at the tonic, which again, of course, is a major 7th chord. So basically, Wherever you decide to play a tonic, you can add or substitute it for a major 7th chord. Wherever you want to play a, a subdominant, you can play a 4 major 7th chord. And wherever you want to play a dominant, you can play a dominant 7th chord. So in the case of C major, Instead of playing a C major chord, you can just play, wherever you were going to play a C major chord, you can play a C major 7th, wherever you're going to play an F, you can now play an F major 7, and wherever you were going to play a G, which is a dominant, you can now play a G7 chord. So as an example, I've picked a simple melody, and we're going to stick with simple melodies for the time being. Uh, the melody I've picked is from a theme by Handel of uh, Judas Maccabeus, and it's a fairly famous theme. I'm going to play it first without the chord or without any harmonization. Now, 
Now, as a first step, let's harmonize it using basic triads. And I'm, again, I'm going to confine myself to the tonic, subdominant, and dominant. Because we've said in the previous lesson that simple melodies should be harmonizable using just these four basic degrees. So this is going to be my personal pick for where to put one, where to put a four, and where to put a five. Now I can also add tension to my progression just by substituting each of the triads with the appropriate seventh chord. So the tonic, the C, becomes a major seventh, the subdominant, the four, the F, becomes a major seventh, and the dominant, the five, becomes a dominant seventh chord. I'm free to use whatever inversions I choose, and I've actually used this freedom when playing. For example, I used both the root form of F major 7th and its first inversion. I've also used the second inversion of the C major 7th. Now a few words about tensions. They serve two purposes. The first purpose is, as the name suggests, it makes, or the tension, makes your chord richer. Uh, it adds a little bit of conflict in there. And that is, can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you're going for. In jazz, it's usually considered a good thing. So tension is something that is, you know, the listeners for the genre already seek out. In some genres, tension might actually be a bad thing. In a lot of popular music, people prefer the basic triads because they're cleaner. They don't have this internal conflict. This is harmonically clearer than this. C major versus C major 7. And this brings me to the second point, which is going for seventh chords can sometimes strengthen the harmonic function of a degree and can sometimes detract from it. Suppose that you're playing a very simple progression, which is an F to a G to a C. The resolution here of course, we're in the key of C, so we have a 4 F going to a 5 going to a 1. The resolution here is very strong. If I were to play a major 7th ending this piece, the resolution would have been a lot weaker. Let me just play it for you. See, this added tension there really detracted from the finalness of, the, of the, the sound at the end there. So in many cases, going, or going from a basic triad to a seventh chord will weaken the functional purpose of the degree of the chord you're playing. Uh, this is also true for the subdominant degree. So whenever you play an F major 7th, that is in the key of C, which is really the subdominant, you're weakening that degree. The only case where this is not true is when you're playing the 5th or the, the dominant degree of the scale. It actually turns out, and I'll, I'll show you in a minute, that a dominant 7th is, is or tends to res resolve even stronger to the tonic than a basic dominant uh, major triad. That is, if I play an F major to a G major to a C, that's going to be a little weaker in terms of how the chords want to flow as when I use a G dominant seventh chord there in the middle. 
F major, G dominant 7, C major triad. Another example, uh, maybe it's, it's clearer if I use uh, particular inversions. So here is an F major chord, here is a dominant major chord, triad, and then a tonic. And here's the same progression with a dominant seventh used instead of a just a triad. So this resolves more strongly to the tonic than this. Or at the very least, adding the additional tension doesn't detract from the harmonic function of the chord. There are other tensions available to different chords, and we'll get to them down the road, but this was just sort of an introduction to the concept of tension, and the fact that you can play these seventh chords uh, in your progressions. Of course, we're going to put it to good use in the next lesson, when we start discussing uh, chord substitutions. I'll see you next time.